Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my stew meat over ice. So let's get started. So in my bowl I have a half a pound of stew meat and I cut it small. I have one chopped onion, rough chop, one green pepper, rough chop, and two stalks of celery. I have my Instapot on saute. Then I'll add a little bit of olive oil inside, and then I'll place my meat inside. So in goes a little olive oil. I'll place the stew meat in. Now I'll take the onion, the green pepper, and the celery, place it in. Scrape in the bottom. I'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, Mix that around. So I have one onion, rough chop, one green pepper, rough chop, and two celery stalks, rough, rough chop, along with the half a pound of stew meat. I'll place a teaspoon of parsley in. Mix that around. I'll place four ounces of mushrooms. They're pieces and stems. I drain them. So now I'll mix that around. Put the lid back on. I'm scraping the bottom to get the bits. Now I'll add in two cups of beef broth. Stir that around. Scrape in the bottom. I'm going to add in one more cup of beef broth, so that'll be three cups. This way here, a lot of it is submerged under the broth. Once it's done, then I'll thicken it. So now I'll put the lid on. Now that I have my lid on, I'm going to turn the button on to meat and stew. Press the start button. and wait for it to be finished. I'm using Uncle Ben's rice and I'm cooking it according to the directions on the package. And instead of water, I'm using beef broth in my rice. And I'm cooking this stew meat in this beautiful Instapot that the Easter Brothers of St. Louis sent me. I really love this Instapot. My rice is finished. and that was using the beef broth. So now I'm just waiting on the stew meat. 
So now it's all done. I took the lid off. I'll take a cup of this broth, or half a cup. I have half a cup of the broth. I'll put in some cornstarch to thicken the broth. I put in a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now I'll pour this back in. Stir it around. And here's what it looks like all plated up with the rice. So I put the rice on the bottom and then the stew meat with the green peppers and onions on top. And this is my stew meat over rice. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.